Okay, I guess at this time uh, we can take questions on, on the presentations. So sh do we uh, invite the speakers to come back to the stage or the Zoom participants to uh, reactivate their Zoom? Um, are there any questions in the room for any of the speakers? If so, please come to one of the microphones and identify yourself, ask your question. Um, and Marie, are there no questions online? If you are online and you do have a question, please enter it into the chat. I see, oh, there's Tony. So um, I'll, I'll start off with a, with a question for uh, Tony Colapri. Um, That uh, tremendous mission operations center and capabilities and traverse planning uh, that you've developed uh, there at Ames for Viper, are, are there plans for how that could be used uh, in the future for other missions than Viper? Uh, that's a great question. I was actually uh, um, excited to hear uh, Jake actually mentioned that a little bit too, in terms of uh, ad adopting and, and migrating some of the capabilities, tools and experience that we've gained to date with Viper. Um, for Artemis, but uh, yeah, your question's a good one, is even beyond uh, 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 Artemis, just in general for future lunar um, uh, missions. Uh, that's a great conversation to have. I'm very happy to have that conversation with anybody. Um, it includes everything from data analysis, uh, the, the shape from shading uh, digital elevation models that Ross Beyer and others have led here at Ames um, has already been uh, used heavily within the Artemis program to analyze sites. Um, but also, uh, yeah, every, we've had many, many conversations with various folks on Artemis about uh, mobility, trafficability, uh, the testing we've done at Glen, you know, extensive testing in the slope facility there. Um, we have, uh, and I was just talking with Chris Zachney and ETU, uh, tried and drill uh, going into test into the chamber today. Um, and we'll be doing some uh, seismic testing of that that, you know, might be applicable to future uh, missions as well. So uh, for even pri like Prime 1, there's an IMU on, on that spacecraft and it's a percussive drill. Uh, maybe there's an application there. So uh, great question. I hope so. But n nothing's been worked into it, to any detail yet, for sure. Okay, thanks. Uh, any questions in the room? Okay, I have a question for Shu. Um, the, the instrument you described, um, it, is it just mounted at a, at a single height or do you need to have several of them at different heights or uh, would there be an arm to move it up and down? Is that necessary to get the, the measurements, the characterization you need? Yeah, I think there are a lot of options depending on the mission requirements. So you can do single, you can do multiple, you can move the up and down. Hello, uh, Zach Vig from the University of Maryland. I had a question for Alex, right, um, with the nervous uh, spectrometer. I was wondering, were you? Is there any? Was there any plans to do it like uh, superficial mapping to like actually move that spot around and get like like small variations in the composition, or was it just like a point spectrometer? Maybe. Um, good question. So the way it will work is that when we're having a traverse, you would actually. So what I didn't say is that the spectrometer is running the entire time. So when, while the rover is actually moving, we, you know, call it a noodle or something like that, you know, we would actually have a trail of, you know, say we were interested in the water bands uh, that we would see that we could actually map out on the map where the rover was driving and then, you know, overprint on that map the concentration of OH or uh, H2O, uh, for example. Um, so that is the way it will work. There's nothing uh, currently that we would actually, like, you know, like drive in a little circle around mm -hmm. to make a larger area of a specific um, point of interest that that's not designed as it is, but you know it's a it's a nice idea to do kind of like a you know swirl of trail of uh, infrared spectrometer measurements on the lunar surface. So, but does awesome. that answer your question? Yeah, thank you very okay, much. Great. Nothing online then. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. 
it is uh it is time for lunch so let's just thank all the speakers